not a nightgown, it's a house dress. It has pockets. If it has pockets, it's a house dress. Now who made that room? That's dumb. I made that room. Right here. You be careful with my plot. I worked hard for it. I'm careful. Look here. If I fall, call you daddy. All right, then. Be careful. Ah! Don't you forget my chicken nuggets. I got your chicken nuggets. I got your strawberries. I got your fruit fry. Well, slap my biscuits with some butter and jellies. Throwing my stuff in the floor. Rude. Oh, don't you do it, woman. Don't you throw me in the floor. Woman, don't do it. Don't. She done threw me in the floor. Oh, razor tape. Come on, Chunk Tigger. You can't reach him, can you? I got him. That's right. Boom! I can't reach it! Stretch, woman, stretch! I got it. Oh, I thought we was going to have to call the fire department. All right, then we got everything packed up. When we leaving? In a few days. All right, then I'm ready. Let's go. All right, it's moving day. Let's go. Willow, come on, let's go. <laughs> Willow, what's wrong? Willow. Why are you scared? You said it's an hour away and I get car sick and did it. Well, I'm not going to feed you before we leave so you don't get sick. I wish you stay here, woman. Willow, I don't think you're upset about being in a car for an hour. What's wrong? We're leaving my mom. This is where she passed away. I know. She's my best friend when you're not here. She takes care of us and watches over us when you're not here. Willow, it's not the house that holds my mom. Mama is with us in spirit, and I'm taking all of her stuff with us. So she'll still be with us? Yes. Okay. Wheezy, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Don't forget my babies. I got your babies. They are packed up and ready. <laughs> okay, I want to set my Tigger. Mama, do you got my six pack of root beer ready? I sure do, Tigger. Okie dokie, I'm ready. Waverly, are you ready? I think so. Don't forget my laptop. I have appointments today. Yeah, we're not going to have Wi-Fi for a few days. Rude. Two months after we moved in, COVID hit and the country was locked down. I created a TikTok with just Tigger and Willow. It all started here. The two southern cats. Then River came along. Then Weezer came along. We hit one million followers. Then we hit two million followers. Then my grandmother passed away in October. My mama passed away a month later on Thanksgiving Day. Then Willow had a major asthma attack and we almost lost her. Then I hit three million followers. Three months after my mama passed away, my daddy passed away. But then my daughter got engaged. Then me or Tigger one started a kitchen fire. We still don't know which one started it actually. Then my husband has two knee surgeries. Then we get hit by an F3 tornado in our little town. Then the imposter started on Facebook and TikTok. Then my daughter gets married. Tigger and Weezer got married too. Then we hit 4 million followers. Then the imposters took me down on Facebook and I had to start all over. But then Waverly came along. Then I had a wake up call that completely changed my life. I live for God now, Jesus Christ. I don't live worldly no more. I lost a lot of fans. I lost a lot of money. And I got a ton of hate. I stay strong with my faith. And I never look back. I got baptized in Jesus' name. My whole family got saved and baptized. Weezer had some fake babies. Then we got Hazel. We decided it's time for a change. And we bought a new house. We wanted to be back in the country. We wanted to be close to the boys. There were happy times in this house and there were sad times in this house. We haven't sold this house. My daughter and her husband is going to rent it. They may buy it, they may not. Who knows what the future holds? We may sell it later on. So it's not a completely goodbye to this home as of yet. They'll be moving in soon. And of course, we'll be back over here for visits, and hopefully one day to see grandkids. I'm not gonna cut my doors and put kitty doors in 
We will do the gates with the cat doors. Hazel's just in here chilling. She's been having to stay in her room a lot lately because of the move and us trying to get everything together. But she's doing good. See, kitty door. And here's the cat room. I've got it complete. Yeah, I had rather have four little hoes instead of one giant hoe in the door. <laughs> but their room is a lot smaller than what they had, but they'll adjust, it'll be fine. Everything fits. How cute is our little dresser? So the Wi-Fi guy came the other day. He seen the fake cats and it scared him to death. He came out, he said, I thought those cats was real. <laughs> so I kind of got the living room complete. I got to put my arches on each side of my cow. <laughs> it is coming along. He's at your mom's. River doesn't seem to want to go home anymore. <laughs> but hey, that's why I moved here, right? He's been a big help. He's been helping Pop. Notice my little mud boots. The joys of living in the country. I got the kitchen done. It's organized. Whew. This is what I'm excited about the most is I can hide my laundry. I can put everything in here. And as I'll head, put my little suitcases on top. So like I said, even though this house is a lot smaller, they use the space so good. I got my bedroom done. When the boys are over, Weezer and Waverly, they stay under the bed. <laughs> These two, they don't even care. They're so used to them. I got the bathroom complete. They came back and installed the mirrors. I asked them, could I order my own mirrors? They were like, yes, and they installed them. And let me tell you, that shower is very nice. I'm enjoying that. I'm not a bathtub person. I kind of wished it wasn't in here, but it is what it is. It'd be good for Hazel and the boys. And this is also what I'm the most excited about. It's my pantry. I've never had a pantry, and I love it. Although, I am going to have to put a lock on the door or something. i got to keep my husband and the boys out of it. So, I'll show the outside, but I will not show the house. So, we have, I think, 2.8 acres, which is going to be plenty of room for Hazel. We just got to get a fence built. <laughs> In the backyard, we'll probably do a wood fence. And then in the front, I'll probably do an underground fence. Not sure yet. But yeah, she's got plenty of room to wander around. Right now, of course, I'm having to take her out on the leash. But it's so nice and it's so peaceful. And I love it out here. All this rain is so muddy. And yes, I'm wearing my mud boots. <laughs> Thank you all for your amazing comments. So far, I have not seen any negativity. And I thank you all so much. And thank you for your support. Thank you for loving us and watching us. Have a good day.